Say I have a theory that little Jimmy ate my last slice of chocolate cake. Jimmy is a messy eater, so my theory predicts that he has chocolate icing all over his face. Note, though, that in the context of Bayesianism, prediction has a very specific meaning. Here, it means the probability that Jim would have icing on his face if he did eat my cake. To put it another way, we imagine what the world would look like if my theory was true. Now we ask, how probable is it that Jimmy would have icing on his face? Let's say there's only a 1% chance that Jimmy would remember to wash his face because he's pretty forgetful. So there's a 99% chance that Jimmy would have chocolate icing on his face if my theory was true. So the predictions of a theory in Bayesianism are actually probabilities based on what the world would look like if our theory was true. To further clarify this idea, let's look at some more examples. How well does my theory that Jimmy ate the cake predict that Jimmy would eat all his dinner? Well, if he ate the cake, he wouldn't be very hungry, so the probability that he would eat his dinner is low. Maybe it'd be like 5% or 1% or something. I have a theory that is going to rain tomorrow. Does this theory predict that there would have been clouds yesterday? Even though we are talking about something in the past, we could still talk about predictions in the Bayesian sense. Because we could say, if we imagine that it is in fact going to rain tomorrow, it would probably have been cloudy a couple days before. So, it's somewhat probable that yesterday it was cloudy. The probability of something, based on assuming your theory was true, is all we mean by prediction when talking about Bayesianism. So, talking about predicting past events and stuff like that actually makes sense.